be living living my life uh, with teachers. Uh, I just felt that uh, they were starting to go way too far. Now, this just takes us again way too far. By closing our state legislative building down there, I'm sure that if they felt that they were going to have the crowd supporting them, they would not have been able to open the door. Thank you. First of all, 
time to say thank you to our two representatives, Wynn Moses and Phil J. Quintus. Thank you again for all of us. I'm just going to cover three things real quick. First of all, what gives our governor the right to keep us out of our state house? That's right. <laughs> 3,000 people, for God's sake, 2,000 of them work there. So we only have 1,000 people that are going to allow in the state house. Taxpayers who own that building, plus a 24 hour notice. What's going to happen is tomorrow, those of us that can be there are going to end up standing out in the cold for the building that we own. That building belongs to us, not to the governor of the state of Indiana. That's right. The first thing we need to do is open up those doors and let us in. The practice of being the first that we know is ours. That's number one. Number two. Why are they discussing this in election year? First of all, they shouldn't be discussing it at all. But why in election year? When the governor controls the House, and controls the Senate, and controls the office. The Republicans control the State House. They're doing this this year so they can try to divide the state. That's why they're doing this. Why not wait till next year when there isn't an election year? No, they want to do it this year. You think they don't have a motive behind this? You betcha they did. Third, half of this country is not right to work. They keep telling us that site select committees won't come to Indiana. They will, their, their companies won't come to Indiana because we're, right to work state. we're not a right to work state. I've asked over and over again who those companies are. I get no <laughs> what companies will not come to Indiana with the great work environment we have in this state? What companies won't come? They won't tell me. They just keep saying slight selection committees they won't recommend this state. I want proof. I want proof that they won't come to Indiana because we're not the right to work state. Yeah. Wages are better in right to work states, that medical benefits are better in right to work states, that quality of life is better in not to work states. They can't prove it. And until they prove it, you betcha I'm going to stand beside you because we cannot afford anything less than what we have now. <laughs>